I'm just going to do a little exercise, a little mind centering exercise demonstrating if your mind is centered, how it affects your dogs. Okay, you're going to be a good example. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, stand up straight. Okay, shorten up your leash. And you got like this, you're holding your wrists behind your back like that. Okay, now I'm going to, can I touch you guys three times? Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, so if I can ask you three to close your eyes. Okay, this is just for a few minutes. Take a deep breath. Pretend you are not here. Pretend you are someplace else. Pretend that there are no sounds other than my voice around you. So take a real deep breath. From the bottom of your feet, inhale through your nose, Exhale out your mouth. And when you do this, do this a few times, you're letting go of everything that happened during the daytime. Everything that happened today, everything that's going to happen, and everything that's happened a long time ago. Just focus in. Relax. Head. Relax. Relax. Relax from where I touched you. Take a breath in from there. And let it go. Let it go and pretend that energy is just traveling down to your shoulders, down around your knees, down around your feet. I'm going to touch you again. And the shoulders relax from your shoulders down. Relax from your shoulders down. Relax from your shoulders down. You're totally in the present. Totally in the present. I'm going to touch you one more time. Back of the neck. Relax. Relax from your back down. Relax from your back down. Relax from your back down. Okay, now just imagine, if you can, that you're in the center of your head and you're just floating. Keep your eyes closed. You may relax a little bit. You may yawn. Deep breath. Keep your eyes closed. Imagine that you're floating, not on the left side of your head, not on the right side, just in the middle. I'm going to say a word, and when I say a word, think of an image that comes to that word. And the word is calm. Just think of an image. It could be an ocean. It could be a beach. It could be you on the ocean. You on the beach. Just think of whatever comes to your head when I say the word calm. Just calm. Okay, I'm going to count to three from three to one and when I say one then you will open up your eyes again three and then you're starting to move your fingers and toes a little bit two the blood is returning back to your body and number one open your eyes open your eyes look at me look at me look at me look at me thank you okay open your eyes okay what is your observation with these three people and their three dogs when they are calm and their, their eyes were closed, their dogs are pretty much calm. Right. She said, when your eyes were closed and you were calm, your dogs were calm. This dog has been like this the whole time it's been here, but while she was in her little calming period, the dog was very calm, which is why. So she's saying that this dog has been in this particular state the whole time. However, when she was calm and her eyes were closed, the dog was fine. And as soon as she opened her eyes, the dog woke up and started barking. And started barking. I agree with everybody else. Once she opened her eyes, her dog went off. Okay. The other two have been fairly the same the whole time. Okay. Okay, so my point is, if you're relaxed, if you're relaxed and if you're calm, your dog will be too. <sighs> calm. You're just sitting. Within a deep breath, you connect with them, they're good. They're totally good.